Welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about movement in 3D space. We are going to code this project and learn how to control the motion of this drone that you see here using the arrow buttons on my keyboard. Now, as you can see, I have a drone and I can make it move up and down and make it turn left and right using the arrow keys on my keyboard. And if I don't do anything, the drone is coded to just keep on moving forward. So we will learn how to do all of this. And since this is going to be a code centric video, we are going to learn how to do all of this using block coding. And you will learn the basics of block coding in this video as well. So before we get started, since uh, I'm going to focus on the, on the code part of this uh, project, I have already created the design for this project. So let me just go to my projects here and you will notice that I have a project called drone template. I'm going to paste the link of this uh, project in the description of our video. So you guys will also have access to this. All you have to do is click on the link of the project. And once you click on the project, it will open up this empty project here. So you will notice that we are in the code section of our workspace and we already have this drone here and with buildings and sky and ground but there is no code so if i run my code if i press the arrow buttons on my keyboard you see nothing is happening right now the aim of this video is going to be to teach you how to code how to use block coding and how to code motion on this drone all right so uh, before we start let's understand how does this code window work so on the left side, you can see that there are some words written here. And when you click on these words, you see, you can see there are some colored puzzle pieces with some words written on them. So these are the blocks that we are going to use to tell our computer what to do in this game. So for example, see, there is this uh, very first option here that says events. When you click on this, it gives you a list of blocks let's just drag out the very first block so what you can do is you can just click on the block press and hold down the left button of your mouse and drag out this block into the code workspace and once you drag the block out you can release the mouse button and the block has been added to your code workspace now you see you have the option here to zoom in and zoom out so if you notice that the blocks are too small you can just zoom enlarge them or if you notice the blocks are too big, then you can make them small. Or you can recenter the blocks however you want. All right. So now see the all these blocks have some words written on them. So what does this block say? This block says when green play button is clicked, and then it has an empty space here. So what does this mean? It means that you see there is a green play button here in my game. So this is saying that when you click on the green play button. Whatever you define in this empty space, that is what my computer will do. So let's try it out. Let's click on the drone object here. So on the left panel, click on the name drone. And you will notice that it brings out some blocks that says drone should move forward for one second. Drone should move forward for five meters, turn left. And then there are more blocks. So since we want to make the drone move, so let's use these move forward for one second move forward for five meters block i'm just going to drag out the very first block on the top so click on the block press and hold down the left mouse button and then when you drag the block you can now you see you can attach this block inside our yellow block yeah so let's just bring our blocks closer and see there is a yellow highlight that appears and you can just release your block and both of them attach with each other like puzzle pieces right so now let's read our blocks. What do our blocks read? It says when green play button is clicked, our drone should move forward for one second. So let's just click on the green play button and see what happens. So you noticed that every time I click on the green play button, my computer does exactly what is mentioned in these blocks. It makes the drone move forward for one second isn't that neat right so uh, we have lots of 
movement blocks here that can make our drone move forward backward turn left and right so let's say let's see that uh, here it says move forward but if i click on move forward i get the option to make it move backwards let's try that out so now see every time i click on the green play button my drone is moving backwards if i select move up then every time i click on the green play button it will just make my drone move up for one second and then stop so we are going to use these movement blocks to control the motion of our drone but uh, what about these yellow blocks what about these events block that we just saw what is what do these do so yeah let me just explain to you about that so you'll notice that in the events section on the top there are these lots of yellow blocks and the first one reads when green play button clicked but the second one here reads when scene loads when mouse clicked when space key is released and the the last one says when space key is pressed so what are these events what do they do so you'll notice that most of these blocks here they define when you are doing something it, they are asking the computer to do something so let's drag out this when space key press block and understand the events option more so i'm just going to again click and drag this block outside and here it says when space key pressed so i'm saying when green play button clicked drone should move up for one second let me go to my drone again and this time i'm going to drag out this move forward block and select move down option so now my blocks are saying when green play button is clicked my drone should move up for one second but when i press the space key when space key is pressed my drone should move down for one second so now when i click on the space when i click on the green play button you see my drone moves up but every time i press my space key see my drone keeps moving down yeah so what are these events these events are a way for you to communicate your activities to the computer so your computer correlates your activities and then defines what it needs to do in the game based on your activity so let's try some other blocks now let's say i want my drone to keep on moving forward to continuously move forward on and on and on so how do i do that so what basically we want to do is we want to repeat this activity of drone moving forward indefinitely right so let's say what i can do is i can just duplicate this block of move forward and i can attach it again and again right so let's say i have attached this for four times here so what this will do now is when i click on the green play button it will make my drone move forward for one second and then it will again make my drone move forward for one second and then it will again make my drone move forward for one second and then forward for one second and then it will stop so it will basically make my drone move forward for four seconds and then it will stop so let's see if our idea of blocks is correct or not so when i click on the green play button one two three and four yep see my drone stopped after four seconds so this is not a good way to code you are coding the same activity again and again you are using the same blocks multiple times again and again that is not a good way to code so we are not going to do this rather than this what we are going to do is we are going to go to this loops and timers option on the left panel so what loops does is using loops block you can repeat an activity a certain number of times like you have a block here that says repeat 10 times so using this block you can repeat an activity 10 times but i'm not going to use this repeat 10 times i'm going to use this forever block so what does forever forever mean forever like in english what does forever mean forever means something that doesn't stop right an activity that doesn't stop so what we can do is we can just drag out this drone move forward block and attach it inside our forever and attach forever inside this when green play button block so now our blocks read that when green play button is pressed my drone should move forward for one second and then let's just change this second block to say when so when i click on the space key 
it gives me a list of all the keyboard buttons that are available on our keyboard. So I can select, let's say, up arrow key, and I can change this motion to move up for one second. So now my blocks are reading that when I click on the green play button, my drone should continuously move forward for one second. It should not stop. And then when I press the up arrow key, my drone should move up. So you see, both of these activities are happening in the game. All right. So let's code some of the movements now. All right. So now let's say I want my drone to move down when I press the down arrow key. So what I can do is I can just click on the events block here. And again, drag out this when space key pressed and then select my drone option and drag out the move forward block and attach those blocks the way I want. But since I already have this move up using up arrow key block, an easier way for us to do this would be I can just duplicate this up arrow key. So I can just right click on the up arrow key block and select the duplicate option and it will create an entire copy of all the blocks inside. So this. Now here I can just change the up arrow to down arrow and move up to move down. And now our blocks read move forward indefinitely move up when up arrow key is pressed, move down when down arrow key is pressed. So let's click on the green play button and my drone moves up, my drone moves down. And right now my drone has moved below the ground and now it has moved away above. So you'll notice that the speed of our drone when I press the up and down arrow key here is too high. Let's reduce the speed. So how do we reduce the speed? All we need to do is we need to reduce the amount of times here. So it says drone move up for one second and drone move down for one second. All we can do is let's say we can make it 0 0.01 seconds. So every time I press the up arrow key, it will move for a small amount of time. So it will its speed is going to reduce. All right. Now, now that we have reduced the time here, we can just click on the green play button and see what happens. So I'm pressing the up arrow key now. You see, yeah, the speed of my drone has reduced, but also the movement of my drone is not so smooth now. It has a lot of jerks and that's not good. So let's try something else. What we can do is rather than saying 0 0.01, we can just say 0 0.1. Let's try a larger number. Yeah. So we know one second was a very fast speed we don't want that and we know that 0 0.01 is a very small speed so a number somewhere between 1 and 0 0.01 so i'm just trying 0 0.1 seconds and what trying to see how does that look so i click on the green play button and now when i press the up arrow key yes see how smooth does this motion look this looks good so as long as i'm pressing the up arrow key my drone is moving up and as long as I'm pressing the down arrow key, my drone is moving down. But I still don't have a way to turn my drone. So let's learn how to do that. Now, since we already have uh, when up arrow key pressed and when down arrow key pressed block, all we need, to do, we need to do is go to our events and we can bring out this when space key pressed block again and change this space key pressed to left arrow key pressed, right? But what should happen when we press the left arrow key? We want our drone to turn left. So let's go to our drone and find a block that will help us do that activity. Click on drone. And here you will notice that there is a third block here that says drone turn left by 90 degrees. Let's bring this out and attach it here. Now, what is 90 degrees? So whenever you turn an object, the amount of turning is calculated in degrees or in angles, okay, in angles. So when you move around a circle, you move a total of 360 degrees. So here it's saying drone should turn left by 90 degrees. Now, I don't know if 90 degrees is going to make my drone turn faster or slower. So let's just test it out, all right? So click on the green play button and now press the left arrow key. And you'll notice that my drone is moving very, very, very fast. It's turning very, very, very fast. And it's a bit nauseating, right? It's not uh, that good.
So what can we do? We can try to change the number. So we know 90 is very fast. Let's try 1 degrees and see how does that look. Now I click on the green play button again and hold down the left arrow key. And this is moving at a good enough speed, but then again, it's uh, not that smooth, right? It doesn't look smooth. It looks a bit shaky. So let's modify that. So we know that 1 is too small and 90 is too big. What we can do is we can try, let's say, 2 degrees. And click on the green play button and run this. Yeah, this looks smooth. This looks smooth. You can try it on your screen, on your system, and see. You can try whatever number you like the best. You might, your, on your systems, it might look smoother with 5 degrees or 4 degrees. Just try out a number that suits best for your project, and you can use that. You don't have to use the same numbers I'm using here. All right, so we have done left arrow, turn left, up, down motion, and forward motion. One last thing that's left is making the drone turn right. So for that, just right click, duplicate this left arrow motion. And you can change left arrow to right arrow and turn left to turn right. And that's it. We are done with the motion of a drone. Let's run this project and see how does it look. So I click on the green play button, press arrow up, drone moves up. With left arrow, drone turns left. With right arrow, drone turns right. And with down arrow, drone moves down. And by default, it's moving forward on its own. All right. So we are done with this video now. Uh, you'll notice that this, is, this was a very simple way of coding motion in 3D objects. All right. Now, there are lots of other ways in which you can add motion to a 3D object using code. For example, if you click on drone here, you will notice that there are lots of blocks here, like this block that says change x by 1, change x scale by 1, and then you have a lot of blocks below here. So we are yet to explore all these different types of blocks and how can these blocks make our drone move. All right. So as I said, this was a very easy way to code. It's not always going to be helpful to just use move forward, backward, left and right, because Directions are based on objects. So there are other ways to move objects using maths, using X, Y, Z that you see here. We are going to learn that in future videos. Uh, what I wanted to show you was if I go to my projects here, even the drone project that we just built, there are better ways to code the motion of a drone. So I have built another project here. You guys can open up this project as well. I will paste the link of this project in the uh, videos description. So when I open up this project, you see, uh, I have also added text for this project here. So you guys can play this project and see that the motion of this drone is a bit more realistic when it comes to flying. So you guys can click on the edit project button here and look at the code of this project as well. It's a bit complicated. It's not that complex, but if somebody wants to learn more about block coding, you guys can use this project as a reference as well. So I will add the link of this project in the description. Awesome. So cool. We are done with this uh, video and let's see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.